It's the best decision I ever made. I'm a transgender woman and my dream was always to be loved and be accepted. Ask your healthcare provider if Big Tarvi is right for you and visit BigTarvi.com to view the important facts, including important warnings. Hello there. Welcome to Plus Talk on Plus Life, where we're all about turning positive into a plus. My guest today, Zora Voice is an HIV advocate and does so much good with her social and online platforms in spreading the good word about what it means to live with HIV. Hi, Zora. Hi, thank you for having me. It is my pleasure. Let's dive straight into it. What do you think is the biggest misconception about HIV? People believe people can still get it through stack. They're not really educated about the undetectable part yet. You're talking about U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable. Yes. How is that a game changer for HIV positive people when it comes to sex? Um, now they can feel confident mentally that they won't transmit HIV to their partner and their partners can also feel comfortable too. But the great thing is they also have PrEP. So if they're not comfortable with that, the HIV negative person can take a medication that can prevent them from getting HIV. Now, you've, you were born with HIV. You've, that's what you've known your entire life. You've been living with HIV. But you um, also, through what you do online, you are very candid and open about sex and sexuality. So what is your advice to somebody who might have just received an HIV diagnosis and thinks, I can never have sex again. No, it's never going to happen. I'm disgusting. No one wants me. I think first they need to do a lot of internal work. I would recommend um, really think about their feelings and then really apply it to real life situations. There are a lot of people living with HIV and their sex lives are not over. And I also advise them maybe join a support group of other people who have HIV and hear their stories. So that's a really good way to cope with your HIV diagnosis and to feel more confident living with HIV and having sex while having HIV. And the good thing about me is I help people with that, with my grand name, my Paola. I talk about embracing your sexuality, even though you have HIV. Yeah, and you're, you you speak of my Paola there, and, and certainly on your social media platform, you, you post a lot of really kind of sex positive messages and positivity, especially for women living with HIV, to feel good about themselves. Where do you get your inspiration from? I've always been a sexual person. Um, so I, I never really let my HIV get in the way of that, even though I was told that it should. I just explored by um, just telling different people, friends and strangers that I have HIV to get comfortable with that idea of people knowing. And from my own experience, most guys, some guys don't like it, but for the most part, most guys are okay with still having sex with me. So that helps me still feel comfortable having sex. It's a process. What advice do you have for somebody who is going through that process right now? Um, you talk about support groups and things like that. And obviously, um, you know, your your site, myperora.com and what you post on social is is a good help. But how can somebody start to change how they view themselves um, and go from, as I said, being, you know, I don't like who I am because I have HIV to almost embracing the HIV as a superpower. Yeah, um, I really do encourage journaling or like even seeing a counselor. I seen the counselor when I was like 18 and my counselor, I just analyzed what my counselor was doing, like her technique, and I started applying that technique to journaling and every time when I felt some type of like emotion like negative emotion I wrote it down and I explored I asked myself why and I kept asking myself why until I fully understood why I was feeling the way I was feeling and then you, you create a solution to that as well and usually the solution involves like telling other people what you're going through or like for example it can be about sex so maybe um, talk to strangers about like um, your HIV status and see their thoughts on it. And that might bring you comfort, but everybody's not comfortable about doing that. Everybody got to find their right way of doing that. But I, I definitely would say journal. Journaling is a great idea. Um, 
keeping with the theme of sex and sexuality, do you have any tips or advice for people on how to approach disclosing their status to a potential partner? Because that can be really daunting and intimidating. See, I'm not perfect. I haven't really figured that out myself. The way I and the way I did it was becoming public about my status. That was the best way for me to do it. Because one of the things I hated the most about having HIV that gave me a lot of anxiety was disclosing my status. So me just having it on social media and it's related to my career is easier for me to talk about because I love career-related topics. So I can make sex about career. It makes it, it normalize the conversation in the sense. It doesn't feel so taboo. It can still feel taboo, but when it's your career, you can kind of make it seem different. Yeah, well, and as you point out, I mean, everybody's different. Perhaps not everybody wants to put their status out on social media or tell the world. Um, but for you personally, how empowering is it owning your HIV status? It changed my life completely. <laughs> it's the best decision I ever made, I feel like. Um I can really take control of my own narrative. Um, people understand me better. They actually want to be associated with me because I'm being my authentic self. So. Yeah. I, hey, hey, man, I hear you. Sora Voice, it has been a pleasure having you on Plus Talk. Thank you for making the time to join me today. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. That's going to do it for this episode of Plus Talk. If you want more information or you want to check out uh, Zora's uh, page, My Perora, we'll put all of that up on the website. You can follow us. We are on social media at Plus Life Media, and our website is pluslifemedia.com. Again, thanks, Zora, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.